three simple words. Lisbon is magical. magical. He tried to put it on my wrist. I said, no, no, no. I am alone in a Portuguese movie theater. Welcome to our hostel here in Lisbon. Let's give you the tour of our room. Brian and I have a private room. It is two bunk beds. If you're wondering why we have a private room and bunk beds, it's because it was cheaper. We don't mind sleeping on the bunk beds as long as we kind of have our own room. That is a perk. So we literally just got here. First impressions of the hostel, amazing. They give you, we have pizza here all day and coffee free all day. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. If you pop over here, have this nice little sitting area. And here's a little view of downtown. Coming into Lisbon, we can see that the city seems more spaced out. Um, it seems more modern. The streets are like normal sized streets. It's still cobblestone, it looks like um, sidewalks. But it looks like it's going to be a, a very different experience than Porto. We really, really, really want the sun to come out. I'm not going to lie. The gloomy weather makes us feel gloomy, so we're, we just want the sun. So hopefully it comes out while we're here. Look at it. Oh my gosh. What is that? The sun. Let's just hope it stays. Let's hope it stays. We haven't seen it since Ireland of all places. Yeah, literally. Go in there? Yeah, let's go down this way. You don't want to go in the Christmas market? No, that's what I mean. Look at that. Look at the giant stuff. Welcome to Lisbon. Thank you. Oh. Obrigado. Obrigado. É qualquer noite. Sounds like a coconut one. So we just realized, both of us, that our spirits are lifted entirely. I mean, when we arrived in Lisbon, we were kind of at a low point, and now, I mean, feeling lighter, yeah, more hopeful. We can explain more later, but right. like this. Uh, Brian and I did a little bit of research last night about some things that we want to do. So we'll go and do those and potentially we're going to see, see a movie. Yeah, you think? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, we're going to just take it easy. I'm going to enjoy every sip of this. Cheers. It's a beautiful, 
beautiful day here in Lisbon. So I think it's time to go see some really cool stuff. I think we found it. Fortunately, still very foggy all the way up here, but we'll check it out. So we have arrived at uh, Miradoro de Santa Lucia, I think that's what it's called. Yep. Um, beautiful, even with the cloud cover. This is an incredible view. One of the highest points, I think, right? Yeah, at least in this area. There are a few balcony points that you can kind of go to, but this is the highest one. And unfortunately, you can't see everything. There's a river behind those clouds, but it's still breathtaking. Yeah, we're going to sit here a minute, take it in, and then we're going to shoot off because there are people kind of trying to get money, doing the same exact things, trying to put bracelets on you and get a few. And we'll chat about that. Yeah. Once we get out, but we really want to warn you uh, as our experience. Okay, so to give a bit more context, I saw a tip a while ago about to avoid those people. Basically what they do is they set up in a very touristy area, which is where exactly where we were, and they just put stuff on you, like a necklace or a bracelet. We saw it literally 10 times in our five minutes of being there. And then they, they act, they butter you up and they act like it's a gift and then they ask for money. So yeah, it, I, I saw it as soon as it happened. Find a good woman, you find a good man. Yes. Happy life, happy life. And then the Love minute, the, USA. That, and the minute yeah. that we didn't give him money, you know, gave him he the got thing cold. back, he got cold and walked off. So. And he tried to put it on my wrist. I said, no, no, no. He got offended. He put it on Brian's wrist without like, basically like no consent. He just did it. And then he was like, I need money for food. So um, definitely avoid that. Yeah. So, and also it's interesting too that there are like four, like four of them in that little area doing the same thing, like six feet apart. So yeah. clearly he doesn't need the money. They're all like working together or I don't know exactly like if there's some like little organization that they send these guys out or if they just like grouped up as friends and decided to do this. But yeah, like Lauren said, nothing is free. Keep that in mind yes. when you're traveling. So this is a pastry that is native to Portugal and I think we're going to try it. It's something that I've wanted to try in Porto, but it's right here, so why not? It's good, but it's not like mine wine. I think it's really, really good. It reminds me of a cheese Danish. Yeah, I think I might be more of a fan of it than you are, actually. That, that is putting so much trust in your clothesline. Impressive.
found the water. We finally found the water. I mean, it's been here the whole time, but it's been so foggy, so we can finally see it. words Lisbon is magical, magical. yeah uh, we're not even exaggerating I yeah I'm getting the feelings like I did in Edinburgh where every turn you look there's something beautiful and amazing um, and especially this area I'm so glad that Lisbon happened we almost cut it out because of some some uh, scheduling things coming up yeah with this trip but we decided to come here and um, and just fly to Madrid instead of doing like a land run through a little small stop along the way. The point is, is that we decided to come to Lisbon and I'm glad that we did because I feel like I, I, I'm starting to really soak in Portugal and it would have been a shame to leave it with just Porto. Yeah. So where are we heading next? We are heading to a very popular street called Pink Street. We'll show you why in a minute. Uh, and it's about a 10 minute walk. So we're gonna head there. Why, Lauren, do they call it Pink Street? I don't know, it's not obvious. It's really a subtle, vague reason why they call it that. Yeah, but you like tell me if you could figure it out. Yeah, all right. You guys let us know why you think they call this Pink Street. So Pink Street turned out to be very underwhelming. Honestly, it seems like more of a social media gimmick, but something that wasn't underwhelming was just walking around the streets of Lisbon and taking it all in. Though we do warn you, if you come here, your calves will absolutely burn. It's uphill and more uphill and more uphill, but we honestly didn't mind because it's such a beautiful city. Not a bad view. Not a bad view. <laughs> I'm glad we found this place. Just such a just such a rebound. I know we keep saying that, but from the from some of the days that we've had recently, it's good to know that yes, we're gonna have dips on this trip, but you can always count on something, right? Whether it was getting into Dublin and having some experience that lifts you up and having amazing days after and you know some of the dips we had in Porto but coming here we can always count on just something happening to to, to bring us right back to a high point so 
yeah, that's the beauty of getting out and just seeing the world. There's so much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if you don't. <laughs> Stop. You never know if you don't go. Whenever somebody uh, asks Lauren to take a photo, she goes like full photographer mode. She has to get like 50 photos. She does like portrait mode. She does some horizontal, some vertical. Horizontal, vertical. I was just telling them that you basically <laughs> like become like a, a just full on photographer when somebody <laughs> asks you to take like a, a picture. Well, I would want them to do the same for me. Yeah. And I'm that. I'm that girl, yeah, you, you know? You I will... Right now, you literally like reposition them. You're like, yeah. we need a better background. <laughs> yeah. It makes me happy to do that. No. Because uh, yeah. they're happy and stuff, so yeah. And it's happened, by the way. Uh, you don't really see it in these vlogs, but I would say that you have been asked to take a picture of people. That's probably my fourth or fifth time. Yeah, and it's happened to us too. People see us taking those selfies that you see of us. Yeah. Um, at least five times as well, people coming up, uh -huh. would you like us to take a photo of you? And yeah. Speaking of those selfies, we're about to take one right now. We have two tickets to see. The Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Fun fact, before Brian and I started dating, I had read the book and I lent it to him. So we were in the little flirty mode. So we both read the book like forever ago and we are excited to see the movie. I was worried knowing that we were gonna be here in Portugal, that it wasn't gonna be in English, but she says most of them are in English. They have Portuguese subtitles which is great because we were worried it was going to be dubbed over in Portuguese and if that was the case we wouldn't have seen it but this is awesome a few moments later I am alone in a Portuguese movie theater Lauren just left because there was like some weird interview thing playing right when we got in and we couldn't like we were shining a light trying to find our seats um, because the seats are not marked very well here. A lady got like really annoyed uh, at us for doing that. But anyway, so we sat in like some random seats in, in our row and the interview thing ended and then like everybody in this theater just left. But we're pretty sure that Trolls was the movie playing before this. So Lauren ran out to double check that we're actually in the right theater because it's very weird. Like there's nothing playing on the screen. It's just silent. The lights are up. And the movie starts in 10 minutes, but nobody else is in here, so. Do we get a private showing or something? I don't know. I didn't think that movie theater culture was going to be very different over here, but apparently it is. I mean, but it is weird in America do, to be at a movie, like, so early. Right, and I'm, I'm curious to see if they show, like, four or five previews before this movie as well, or if it's just, like, it hits the movie time and then they play the movie. That would be nice. Yeah. We thought it was great. It was, yeah, it was really, really <laughs> good. So surprised at how good it was. Um, better than like the reviews would, would lead you to believe, I think. Um, definitely, I think, worth seeing. Yeah, for sure worth seeing. And it was cool to see a movie while on this little trip of ours. Yeah, Portuguese subtitles, but not Didn't exactly. bother us at all. Nope. Yeah. So I think that is enough fun for one day. We will see you tomorrow for an even more incredible day, potentially. Yeah. We we honestly, at this point at midnight, uh, we have no idea what we're going to do. So That's actually true. But <laughs> It'll be a surprise for you and I both. Yes. But we do have an idea of a place that we want to go. So We'll see if we end up getting there. We need to figure out the logistics first. But I like where you're thinking. So, uh, yeah. Good night, everybody. We will see you in five four, three, two, it's gonna be like fade out here. One, kind of feels like something out of the jungle book. We just wanna find the star of the show. I'm not even joking, this is actually terrifying.